Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Nourishing the Holistic Christian Home. Today I brought another grocery haul. So today I went to um, Costco, Sprouts, and I also went to, I stopped by Mardell, the Christian bookstore. So I wanted to show you, we got some, um, just, we have a lot of meat still for our dinners, like some roast dinners and some chili dinners and stuff. Um, and some chicken left from last time. So this time was more of a lunch and snack fill-in um, and just some things that we were out of. So let's go right into it. I picked up um, two of these Annie's Organic um, Cocoa Honey and Vanilla Cereals. They're super easy for school days and that's what we buy them for. My kids also eat lots of oatmeal too and on the weekends we like to have pancakes. Um, but this is something that's cheap and you know quick for the you know weekdays. Um, my uh, teenage son, he likes Hot Pockets and he eats pretty healthy for breakfast and dinners and snacks so I'm okay with him having a little bit of junk so we picked up some Hot Pockets for him. Another big flat of Dr. Pepper for my husband and I don't know why this is on the floor over here. Um, so today I went to my son's school and his teacher said that they were really out of snacks. So a lot of these things that I picked up are for his class, and this is one of them. Just some 24-pack of the applesauce, no sugar added, gluten-free. And then we picked up another thing of syrup, and we like that kind. It's super cheap at Costco. You can get this entire thing for, I think it's like $10, 9 or $10, and this would cost you in a regular grocery store. I don't know, $25 to $30, depending on where you go. And so this is why we shop at Costco. We can get a lot of organic stuff for, um, get our money's worth. So um, went ahead and got another thing of the Primal Kitchen Mayo. This is made out of avocado oil, which is the healthiest fat that you can have. And it's just really clean ingredients. And so we buy this for making our own dressings and dips and stuff. And then this is super easy for um, my son Jordan. Um, these grilled chicken strips, no added hormones or antibiotics. And so they're just grilled chicken strips. And then these are for my husband, the Tyson black pepper and herb chicken breast strips. These also are no antibiotics and they are actually pretty tasty. And then another splurge for him, just this meatball marinara Italian style subs. I think there's six in here. Yep, you get six. So the lady at the checkout said that these were really tasty. So um, I think he'll enjoy that treat as well. Um, two bags of organic um, corn chips. We go, we eat chili nachos and um, we make a huge pot of chili that lasts days. Um, my son Jordan is kind of on a GAPS diet and so I'll show you um, in a little bit what we get for him and I both. Um, we're not, we don't, he doesn't eat grains and I try not to eat grains but anyway so I picked up two of those. And then we got two of these organic Mediterranean crunch salad kits. These are really tasty and super quick and easy for when we're having um, just a quick dinner or just on the side of like a roast or something that I made. So we got two of those. These um, looked really good. I think we've had these before, the chicken meatballs. Uh, there's really nothing in it besides the basil and garlic seasoning and then the chicken and it's these are I'm going to give my son Jordan for lunch. He likes little things like this and he's been eating um, grass fed beef. So he'll be happy to have the chicken this <laughs> this week instead of the beef and him and I both love salami. So I picked up this. I found this. I haven't seen this before. The organic Milano salami. No nitrates added. Um, you got to be careful in stuff like this cured meats. Um, they can contain a lot of junk, so the this looked really good. And then we, this is a repeat buy. We tried this last time I went to Costco, the uncured turkey bacon, and it was so good. It really does taste just like ham, and so I'm probably sure we'll be purchasing this every time. It's really good, and there's a ton in there. I think you get, there you go, you can kind of see. It's, for our family, it's a good purchase. Um, picked up some organic grapes for my ones that stay home to have on the side of their lunches. 
and picked up some avocados because avocados equal life and um, got this um, bag of uh, beef sticks. So I got these last time. These are super good on the go. They are low carb. Um, you can see they don't have any carbs and they're a good protein snack on the go. And I thought they were made with grass fed beef. Why was I thinking that? I do not know. I'll get back with you on this, but I thought they were made with grass fed beef. Oh well. Oh, yep, there, there, there it is. 100% grass fed beef. So good. And um, got this chunky guacamole because avocados are alive. And this I bought for my husband, the tiramisu. It looked super good. I can't eat anything like this, but he will love the crap out of it. And then I got some applesauce. I'm going to be doing, I'm experimenting with baking because my son can't have grains or nuts, we just found out. So he literally is allergic to the sun, so I'm trying to come up with um, you know, a good muffin recipe, a good um, bread roll recipes, things that I can have, staple recipes that are super healthy for him in the house. That's tricky and we it's all a progress. So got some applesauce. It makes things, I think, lighter and airier when you're baking. So I picked up the naked juice smoothies. These things are loaded with sugar, but my daughter loves to take these, um, well, all the kids really do for school lunches, and so that got that. This stuff, I'm sure, will go away after summer, and it is delicious. The organic watermelon cucumber lemonade. My kids will have this gone in probably two to three days. So, um, I've been trying not to buy juice boxes like this, but again, my son's um, kindergarten classroom is out of snacks. So I really wanted to bless her and load up, and so we got two of these. I'll probably keep one of these at home and give one to the kindergarten class. Another repeat buy is this avocado oil, and this stuff is just amazing. We go through a lot of it. This is new at Costco, the, well, at least mine anyway, um, organic yogurt. Again, these package things are loaded with sugar, but when your kids go to public school, and some of ours do, all the other kids get, you know, treats and stuff, and I would rather them be eating, you know, sort of healthy-ish, so I try to pick my battles and not let them feel like they're missing out on anything, so if... Like, the reason I do these Costco hauls is to show you that you can purchase organic options and, you know, feed a large family and your kids can kind of feel like that they're getting treats too. Um, you know, it's not super, super strict healthy, but I think that, you know, for raising a family, you just have to do what's best for your family and for our family. We just let our kids have some of these things, and we have moments where we're stricter, and we have moments where we indulge a little bit more, and so um, progress, not perfection, I guess. Um, and then I picked up these for my daughter. She likes Pop-Tarts, but I'm going to see if she'll eat these because she's been not wanting the Pop-Tarts, and she's been wanting these cereal bars instead. So I picked these up. They get... You get 12 raspberry, 12 blueberry, and 12 original, and figs are delicious, and I really think that she'll like these. And then I picked up the um, vegetable tikka masala. I'm thinking about having this with my lunches with some chicken on the side, and I'm trying to stay away from starches, but every now and then this will be fine. And then um, a repeat buy for our family is the Annie's mac and cheese. Let's see... Um, you get three different kinds, so um, there they are, and you get 12, so two will last us two weekends. And then um, we picked up some of these soft and chewy granola bars. Again, not the greatest, but these are for my son's kindergarten class, and I'll probably keep one um, at home. Just I got three of them. They're cheap and inexpensive, and I guess they're probably comparable to the Quaker chewy bars. I don't know. And then kindergarten class is getting the trail mix here. And then kindergarten class is getting the gummy bears. I really hope that helps her out. Um, I feel bad when parents don't um, help out the class. So then we got this big thing of olives. We love olives so much. Put them in everything. Pastas, just eat them as a snack. And so Costco is the best price to get there. And then we picked up a big case of green beans. Again, we do it in pasta, sides of meals and stuff like that. And then the bunny snacks, um, just a side of lunches, and one is going to the kindergarten class, and we're keeping one, and then we are keeping the organic gummy bears 
of that. So that is what I got at Costco. Da, 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 da. And at Costco, I think I spent about $460. So that will last us a little bit. And then coming in here, I'll show you what I got at Sprouts. Okay, so that's our stop shop, our stop shop for Zevia. So we stocked up. My son Jordan, who has ADHD, I love giving these to him. They contain caffeine and they are sugar free. So this one is comparable to Mountain Dew and this one is comparable to like a cherry Coke. And both of these contain caffeine and caffeine is really helpful to help Jordan focus. And so these being natural ingredients and sugar free, I love these. And then this is my new favorite, the Grapefruit Citrus. It's so good. It tastes like, if you remember, um, Fresca in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like that and I love it. Cream soda, kids are already getting into those. I don't mind if my kids take soda once a week or whatever to school. Um, they like that. And then the cola, it really tastes like Pepsi. I really like this one. So again, Zevia is a great alternative. It's a great um, thing for you to switch out your sugary sodas. And so I love showing hauls like this um, where you can, you know, get comparable, you know, with better ingredients, comparable products. So moving on, blah, 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 moving on. Okay, so picked up the almond milk. My daughter drinks that, and we add just a little bit of maple syrup so that she's not drinking sugary containered milk. And then my son, we just found out, can't have nuts. So we're going with the flax milk. And then um, we got two of those. So, and then this is what we do for when, when the other, when the rest of the family is having chili nachos. We get this. So this is cassava root, and if you have gut problems, autoimmune, whatever, cassava is really easy on the digestive system. It's just an altogether better, you know, flour to use for baking and all kinds of things. And so these are delicious. The plant snacks, sea salt, cassava root chips. And so what we'll do is we will um, put some cooked ground beef on top of there and um, do some guacamole and he loves it so he's not feeling like he's missing out on nacho night we buy those and I eat it too so I will eat those that night with guacamole like it's no tomorrow so the vegan cheddar as well um, so they make the cheddar with nutritional yeast and seasonings and I haven't tried the cheddar um, so I can't tell you if they're really good, but I know nutritional yeast is a great supplement for cheesy things for people that can't have dairy. So, um, okay, so picked up the rib rack. Um, my husband loves this barbecue sauce. Ever since he had it Father's Day, like two years ago, he raves about it, and we always try to get it for him. The hot cayenne is his favorite, and Sprouts had it on sale, so buy one, get one free. And then um, I like to keep these kind of healthier ramens around during when we're getting back into school and cold and flu season, I like to have, um, you know, kind of a healthier version of ramen noodles for the sick kids. And then my son likes to eat these, my older son, um, the kimchi ramen, he, and he just loves these. And we bought stuff to do a spicy noodle challenge. And so that's going to be a video that we're doing. I think we might just go live on our Facebook, but the kids are super excited to do the spicy noodle challenge. So we even bought some rice noodles in the cupboard, some non-GMO to kind of make a healthier version of that. But anyway, so um, got a big spaghetti squash for my son and I who are trying to stay away from greens. Uh, well, he is completely, I have some greens here and there, but this spaghetti squash, I love making pasta out of it. It's so, it tastes so much better than pasta to me. I love it. And then um, just picked up a thing of onions, um, a thing of cauliflower because I love munching on this. I'll make a little dip out of the avocado mayo, season it up and just eat it. Such a good snack. And then some romaine hearts just for lettuce in the fridge. I picked up two cans of the organic white chicken to do like a chicken salad with maybe some cassava chips over there um pretty tasty and then i also got some sweet relish if we need to go with that and again i'm experimenting with baking so as soon as i find good recipes that are you know comparable i will share those on my channel but for now i'm experimenting so i picked up quinoa flour because i can't use cassava flour like just solely cassava it's too gummy 
So now the chips, products like this usually they don't, they're comparable, they don't, but when baking at home, I'm having problems. So I got this quinoa flour to kind of separate it a little bit and I'm going to try to cut in some flax meal too to see if that kind of helps the gumminess. Um, so I picked up some rice vinegar. I like rice vinegar when I'm making teriyaki sauces or whatever I'm making. And then I got this apple cider vinegar too because, yeah, we like this for cleaning during the fall and all kinds of things. And I picked that up. Kettle chips. I got the kettle chips for the kids that go to school. This is their favorite brand. My daughter loves the salt and vinegar. The kids, they just like them, and I'm okay with it, you know. Pick your battles. I picked up this um, new thing. It's the Organic Energy Chews. Sorry, I don't... There we go. So, I have a troubles trying to keep my son motivated in the morning when he's super tired. So, I usually give him some caffeine. My son Jordan with ADHD. And I'm hoping that these will... If I give him a few of these, maybe he'll enjoy them. They seem like pretty good ingredients. So, I picked up a couple different flavors of those. And then because he can't have nut bars anymore, I just got him some of these. Now, these are pretty high carb. I'm not going to be like letting him eat these all day every day. But, you know, because if he eats too much sugar, it doesn't seem to help his rash out any. So, yeah, I picked up a bunch of those. And so be care I'll be careful with those. And then my daughter, Sayla, she loves tortellini. So for lunches, picked her up some tortellini. And then this salsa is amazing. I'm probably going to top it top some guacamole with it and have it as a snack. It is so good. And then um, some spicy sauerkraut. We love fermented foods, fermented pickles, sauerkraut. Um, I'll use some fermented juice to pickle eggs. And so I try to do fermented foods where I can. And then so we got some lactose-free cream cheese. My daughter likes making cream cheese toast and some lactose-free sour cream for our nacho nights. And then I picked this Thai sweet potato soup up. It looked pretty tasty. I'm gonna try that. Artichokes, uh, I just, my husband and I love them, so we picked that up. Got some of the shiitake mushrooms to throw in with a roast. Um, some organic tortillas for my kids to have wraps because they get sick of sandwiches. And then I got two bags of peas because I just love them. And then I got these for my husband, the Love Crunch Organic um, Granola Bars. He really likes the peanut butter chocolate ones. And then occasionally I will have some of this cereal. I really enjoy the coconut chia. It's super yummy. I'll have that with the flax milk. Um, and then I got my husband loves these smoked oysters. So he hasn't had it in a while. So I went ahead and picked up some um, crackers for him and oysters because he likes those. And then... He, he loves these beignets. They are really tasty. Um, and they didn't have any last time I went to Sprouts. And this was the last one they had of the chocolate hazelnut. So he'll be excited to have those. And then um, I, I can't believe I found these. Grain free. Made out of flax flour like I was talking about. Um, blueberry muffins for my son Jordan. Because he often feels like he misses out. So finding stuff like this. And the chocolate brownies there below really just put a smile on his face. I don't ever want him, he misses out on so much stuff and I just don't ever want him to feel like he's missing out. So I try to, you know, I try to make up for what I can and find little things like this because the other kids can have junk every once in a while and he, he has to stick to his diet. And then I picked up some of this aspartame free gum. Everyone loves in our house gum, so I picked some of that up for the family. Two chocolate bars for my son Jordan when other people are having, you know, cake and whatever, he can have that. I got these dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These are pretty good. They're low in sugar. Well, lower anyway um, for me. And then I repeat bought these vitamin C pops for my kids. They love those. We used to buy from Amazon like the huge bulk tub of them and have them above our fridge. It was funny. 
Okay, I picked up this bubble gum because it was healthy, well, cleaner ingredients, and my son ha my son Jordan has a homeschool spelling test today, so I want to get him a treat for working so hard this week. And then I picked up the hard toffee here, the toasted coconut made with coconut milk. So I, I love toffee, so I'm excited to try that. I don't I don't eat like a lot of this stuff. Well, it'll sit in my fridge and I just every once in a while like a little treat. So pick that up. And then um, I got some rosé for this weekend. So let me tell you about the organic wine. So regular wine is just riddled with all kinds of chemicals, pesticides, and junk. So when I can find a brand like this, um, Bonterra, they make uh, organic wine or fr wine from organic berry uh, berries. My goodness, what am I talking about? Wine from organic grapes. <laughs> and it's delicious. I love this brand and I would recommend this brand. It's the only wine I can drink that doesn't make me feel sick or have a headache. And so I just wanted to, you know, throw that in there for people that like to have wine that it can be really bad for your health and so organic wine like this um, it's just such a better choice if you are, um, if you do enjoy a glass of wine. And so I picked up these dandies, all natural marshmallows. These things are not healthy. They contain carrageenan in it, which is a terrible ingredient. <laughs> but this weekend we were having, um, you know, tonight we're going to have the spicy noodle challenge in my son Jordan who can't have noodles and peppers and things like that he wanted to do a challenge and so I picked up these to do how many mini marshmallows can you stick in your mouth challenge so stay tuned people for that video <laughs> he's gonna love that and so we needed to pick up some cleaner so I just picked up this ginger yuzu I hope this smells good I love the smell of ginger cleaner and then just a couple things for myself here. I needed like a scrub, a face scrub. And so I got this Andalou Naturals. This is a really good brand. It's super great for people with sensitive skin. I've tried their products and good ingredients. So I picked up this skin polish. And I know it's going to be great because I love this brand. So just a shout out that you can pick healthier, you know, cleaners and, you know, makeup and stuff for your skin. Um, beauty products are just full of all kinds of toxins and your skin is just absorbing all of that and we have enough to detox for our livers daily and so where you can make a difference just make the switch and then um, this is my favorite um, I don't wear like a lot of makeup but I kind of do I don't know I'm weird but I picked up this Burt's Bees lip shine because I like lip shines they're not like I guess it's kind of like a gloss, but I just can't do lipstick. I've tried, and I just, whatever, I can't. And then I picked up, lastly, this Herba Tint um, Permanent Hair Color Gel in the 2N. I recently dyed it, but it didn't turn out dark enough. I hate going to get my hair done by people. I can never get someone to do it correctly and then I'm always the one that feels awful and doesn't want to say anything but this is just a natural alternative to dyeing your hair it contains a little bit better ingredients and no like ammonia and different things that are bad for your um, body so I mean you're dyeing your hair it's got chemicals in it but this is a better option for people that just like to do it at home and I'm going to try this brand out. I haven't tried it before and hopefully it works good. So pick that up. Okay, so that's what I picked up at Sprouts. And at Sprouts, I think I spent about 300 bucks, including the soda. I had to go back in for the soda because I forgot it. Um, so Costco, Sprouts, and then lastly, I just wanted to show you really quick what I picked up at from Mardell's. So I went to the Christian bookstore at Mardell's. My kids need a new Bible, so my older ones that do devotions at home. So I picked up a couple things. I just wanted to share those with you. Everything that they have right now for like school and fall is like half off. So I was super excited to get in there and pick up a few things. Um, I picked up this little um, table color. I think this is like, a, it's like, it's not a towel. It's just like a decoration, and so when I'm doing my recipe photo shoots um, for my page, I just wanted something cute to kind of 
make the pleat pop a little bit. And so I picked this up. It's got some cute black fringe on the bottom of it. And then my older kids, let me just preface this by saying, um, we do not attend a specific church building. We do a lot of church at home. And so Monday nights, Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, my kids are all doing personal devotional time. And I wanted to um, just inspire them, inspire, <laughs> I just wanted to inspire them and encourage them by giving them new Bibles and for a new school year and some new Bible journals to just really cultivate that time with the Lord. It's so important to me and my family and um, for anyone to be growing their spiritual health just as much as they're growing their physical health. And so I picked up sometimes, you know, some stuff so that when they're having their time, they can, um, you know, write down what they're hearing from the Lord and be inspired by new material. I Everybody loves new material, so um, I wanted to bless them and pick up that. So I found these bookmarks super cute for my oldest three and I think they're going to love them. My oldest three, Julian, Zayman, and Destiny. Um, I'm going to have a high schooler next year. I can't believe it. Anyways, I'm rambling. Okay. And then I went ahead and got these magnets because I'm always needing magnets on the fridge. And I don't know where they always go. And I'm always having to use like the junky ones that they send you in like the phone book and stuff. So I wanted some cute ones. So I picked that up. And then are you kidding me? Owls are my favorite animal, and I found this little guy, and I just could not leave him. He had to come home with me. And then this little thankful pumpkin. So I don't do a whole lot of decorating until it gets closer to fall, but I picked up those things since I was there. Picked up this Explorer Study Bible. It looked really neat for my son, Zayman. He is in seventh grade. And then I picked up this Inspire for Girls. This book is amazing. It's got coloring pages, journaling pages. It's got devotional. These are all devotional devotional Bibles. So that one, oh my gosh, so cute. If I was a little girl, I would love that. And then this Boy's Life Application Study Bible was just a little bit more adult for my teenager. And so picked those three up for them. And then these, these journals below, just um, simple journals. This prayer journal looked neat. So I got two for the boy, one for each of the boys and one for my daughter. So... Um, I just wanted to encourage their time. And then, um, I just picked up a cute couple cute things that I liked. I got this teaching my tribe shirt because I homeschool my son, Jordan and my preschooler. So I thought that was super cute. And then I found this. I loved this stripe. God makes all things possible. And then I've been desperately needing a new hoodie. So I found this wild about Jesus and it's super soft and their hoodies were on sale for 20 bucks. So I got that. What a good deal. And then lastly of the haul, I picked up this beautiful apron because I'm always needing an apron and I've never actually put money into buying one. And every time I cook, I'm covered in flour and I hate it. So I'm super excited that I picked that up. Okay, guys. And at Mardell's, I, I can't remember what I spent. I think like 200 bucks, 200 and something bucks. But it was worth it. I'm a sewing into my kids' spiritual health and sewing into our family's physical health. And that's why we spend money on those kinds of things. Um, and so that's what we got. So look forward to my herb prep coming out. Um, new video on all things autumn medicine herbal medicine so i'm going to be making some herbal medicine so keep an eye out for that video and um, thanks for watching this haul you guys have a great day thanks